So let's take a look at Intel Core i7-4700K and i7-4790K. So i7-4770K is basically a Haswell processor and 4790K is also a Haswell processor with a little bit of tweak here and there. There is not no major change in the Haswell. It's just that they have tweaked uh, uh, their thermal performance in terms of their uh, heat sink used, heat component, heat sink component used between the processor and the heat sink and they have also tweaked uh, their their um, uh, capacitors placed upon the, the top of the processor. So let's take a look at some of their key uh, parameters. In terms of clock frequency, 47790K for the first time reaches 4 gigahertz and beyond and that's one of the main selling points of 4790K. And then 4770K is of course 3.5 gigahertz that makes it uh, 4790K 14% faster than 4770K. In terms of turbo clock frequency, again there is a bump of 500 megahertz which is about 10%. That's a substantial amount of uh, absolute increase in the clock frequency. But in terms of percentage, it's about 10%. Still not that bad. Let's take at their past market score. The both of them for the first time they cross 10,000 marks in the past market scores. So if you are really looking for a fast performance desktop, you may want to buy one of them. If you are buying a new processor or a new desktop with a new processor and if you are looking for an extreme performance, you might want to consider 4790K as both of them have about the equal pricing. Both of them come with the same integrated uh, graphics but nothing substantial if you are looking for uh, playing a uh, high end gaming you might want to have a uh, discrete graphics. Now in terms of uh, TDP rating the core i7-4790K has 4 watts of higher TDP rating but considering the fact that it's it's uh, overclock it's higher much higher clock the increase in the um, wattage is not as substantial we will like, take a look at some of the uh, the a diagram that shows the difference between them them so we have this figure here uh, that shows how they how they um, the, the difference between these two. So basically they have the same package and this new package refers to the 4790K. So if you look at these two, the two new things about this is the Intel calls it a thermal next generation polymer thermal interface which is the heat sink component. It's a new kind of a silicon based uh, thermal interface material which has better thermal transfer ca conductivity capacity. It's better uh, viscosity which uh, allows it to spread more easily so on and so forth. Now the big thing is the new additional capacitors to smooth power delivery to the die. Now as you know, as you increase the clock frequency, you get more noise on the power supply and in order one way to reduce that power supply noise is to add more capacitor between power supply and the ground. Now the one way to do is, is to add these more capacitors. If you look at these two figures closely, I am not sure if you can do that but let us zoom it onto it. In this one, you can see these tiny capacitors on the back of it. Now in the original one, you do not have those capacitors over there. So that is one way Intel improves the power supply performance. Now let us take a look at the Intel's website for their comparison of their specifications. So we can see. Uh, we, still, we have covered most of them, the clock frequency uh, and their uh, turbo clock frequency. Both of them are quad core processor with hyper threading enabled. So we have 8 uh, hyper threads per, um, per system. Now you can see that the Intel's pricing 
this is the recommended pricing for both same for both of them which means that if you are buying a building a new computer of course you should go with the newer processor if you are upgrading it does not make that much of sense because you won't get that grade of performance by upgrading it thank you for taking a look at that leave your comment below bye